Okay, I uh, had hoped to have something a little bit more exciting to show you for my 100th YouTube video, but there is still some prep work that needs to be done in order to do that, and I want to show you what the current state of development is here. This is, oof, yeah, you can see how flimsy that is. This is just a... Uh, a two liter soda bottle holding some electrolyte in it that I was tinkering with the with the redesigned cell but I really can't perform any tests with that so you see I've got some clear PVC tubing this is a 12 inch piece that I cut off of a 36 inch section that I bought from a place called affordable plastic on eBay uh, very good source of um, parts and materials. I also picked up a couple of pieces of 12 inch by 12 inch by 1 half inch thick uh, PVC or acrylic to make the end caps for my test, uh, test chambers. So I will be making a larger version of this test chamber. All right. This uh, smaller one was for the plasma arc experiments, which, of course, I still haven't done yet because I'm one guy and I don't have time to do all these things. But I cut the cut the end of this pipe off, and you can't cut it perfectly straight, even with a even with a uh, cutoff saw. The factory supplied edge, even that, wasn't perfectly smooth. But if you take it against a piece of sandpaper on a flat surface you can you can see the the ring that has formed from the material that I've removed and I'm just taking with my hand creating a wedge and just spinning it this is a slow process but this is the best way to get a nice nice smooth edge on the end of the pipe and you can't really see this, but there's there's one spot on the edge of this tube that I'm still trying to get uh, removed, so I have to sand down the rest of it to get this to become smooth with the rest of the surface. Then I'll be able to glue it to the acrylic end plates and put a couple of threaded rods on the on the corners and clamp the top cover on, and that will be just the right height to perform my experiments with the VSPB cell and seal it off and measure the gas output and all the good things that you need to do when you're running the experiments on HHL. I've already made my first cut of the 12 inch by 12 inch piece of half inch plexi or acrylic or whatever it is. I don't know what it is. It doesn't quite smell like plexi when I cut it. It has a very sweet odor to it. I could actually tolerate for a very long time, actually. Um, don't know if it's bad for me. But anyway, this is using the down cut blade. And you can see what a nice job that does. There's no uh, melted plastic that reformed behind the blade as it cut through the plastic. Uh, it just made a very nice clean cut. So I'll be peeling this back and gluing. I'll probably glue the bottom plate and put a gasket at the top for the removable top plate. I will countersink the, the threaded rods into the base so that I can put some rubber feet on it and it'll just become a, a base that uh, won't slide around my bench top. All right, the glue is setting up now along the bottom edge. I'm just uh, holding it together right now with a little bit of the Goop Marine Adhesive. I'm getting a little closer here. You can see just a small bead running around the base. All right. And of course, I already have the VSPB cell inside, just sizing it up. Obviously, I'm anxious to get this thing started, producing some gas and doing some measurements. The uh, lid, obviously, is going to be removable. I have the caps for it. 
and I may even have several different style of caps because they will be removable with uh, generic terminals on the top so that I can experiment with different types of cell and cells in this um, test chamber.